Are you looking to purchase a condo or townhome in Wappingers Falls, New York? I'm a local real estate agent and I just wanted to talk to you quickly about Wappingers Falls and buying condos or townhomes in the area. A couple of things to consider when buying a townhome in Wappingers Falls are that Wappingers Falls is a great location to live. It's uh, central between Fishkill um, and Poughkeepsie. It's easy to get down to I-84 and go to Connecticut or across the Hudson River or go north up in Dutchess County to Poughkeepsie, Hyde Park, Rhinebeck, and points further up and cross the bridges if you're interested in going um, up to Ulster County or over to Orange County a little further north. So it's a great place to be living and located. It's um, in uh, Southern Dutchess County technically, but um, yeah. It's a vibrant, Wapenchers Falls is a vibrant and thriving uh, community with a beautiful Main Street area. And there was a fire on Main Street um, a few years ago and they um, re redid Wappingers Falls, some of the buildings got re redone and they started a group called Wappingers Rises to celebrate the um, resurgence of the downtown area. And they're very active and they're very active in the arts and um, getting a lot of stuff done in Wappingers Falls to make it a fun place to live. And Wappingers Falls also has a lot of beautiful parks. Um, if you're in downtown, you can see there's Reese Park, um, Baldwin, I don't even know how to say it. Nobody knows how to say it that I know of. Uh, in downtown, there's Mezier Park, Mezier. Again, some of these names I don't know how to pronounce. Um, I'm not originally from the area, but I've been living up here for four years and I, and I definitely love this park. It's one of my favorite places to go um, and just sit and watch uh, the squirrels play and the birds. It's beautiful in the summer. They have live music. And it's just a great place centrally located downtown. And Wappingers Falls, um, if you're looking at condos and townhomes to purchase in Wappingers Falls, the home prices here, or the townhome and condo prices, are going to be lower than areas such as uh, Beacon, which has townhomes and condos for sale. But the prices in Beacon are a lot higher. And Fishkill actually has some really great uh, condos and townhome communities, especially near the Merritt Park area. Um, However, Fishkill is a lot more expensive as well. Wappingers Falls has a better price point. Some of the downsides about buying a condo or townhome is that in addition to your basic taxes every year, you're going to have to pay a monthly homeowners association fee, which can range from $100 to $350 or $400, depending on the condo community that you buy in. Um, let me show you some of the different um communities or some of the different places that are available. So you can see like right now, the Montclair community is one of the most popular communities to buy a condo or townhome in. They always have stuff for sale. Uh, there, there are a lot of different properties in that um, community. So you're able to, um, yeah, actually get a, a really nice place with um, wood floors. You know, here's a multi-level uh, condo slash townhome for sale that's been updated and uh, the price isn't too bad. It's 218.5 for two bedrooms, two bathrooms. <laughs> Some of the other things to consider when buying um, a townhome or a condo is that they're typically older in Wappingers Falls. They don't have as many new communities built up in Wappingers Falls. Um, I'm not sure why they haven't done a lot of new construction but it just hasn't happened yet. So a lot of the places that you're gonna see will be older. Um, most of what's available may need to be to updated depending upon your personal preference. So, you know, some, some of these that you can see um, haven't been updated as much as like other areas might have been in more uh, trendy areas. Um, but it's also just a trend in Dutchess County in general. I think that a lot of the places in Dutchess County are undergoing a transition right now as people who built the homes in the 70s and 80s and 60s and 50s even are um, moving out of the area, relocating, or their children are getting the homes in an estate and a lot of homes are being sold as is. So you find a lot of properties that are older looking, a little more dated. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, you can make the inside look like whatever you want. It's just a matter of what your preference is on, you know, a condo or a townhome. 
So that's what you're going to find when you're buying in Wappinger's Falls. Um, some of the things I love about Wappinger's Falls, uh, Norma's Cafe, it's a great place. It's brand new um, this year on Main Street. It's a really cool, it's got a really cool vibe. You know, it's, it's a really neat place. It's become kind of a hub for Main Street. People go there, they have, they work from there they have great meetings there. Um, they can get some really good food and lattes and baked goods. So it's, it's really exciting. Uh, Norma's is a really neat place. Another place that I really like in uh, Wapinger's Falls, close to downtown is Heritage. It's a great place to go. They have a really great um, vibe going on there as well. They have great indoor seating, outdoor seating, pretty good food. I mean, not pretty good, but really good food, really good drinks. It's a great place to go um, when you're ready to go out and have dinner with friends and family. So you can see some of the stuff that they have going on there. So it's pretty cool. Um, groceries. I mean, one of the things to consider when moving to an area is where are you going to shop? And the nice thing about Wappinger's Falls, again, is there's a lot of shopping nearby. Uh, right Route 9 is the major thoroughfare in the area. And you can see, just looking at this, like there's a Home Depot in Wappinger's. Um, you got the banks. Uh, you have like uh, grocery stores, different restaurants. Um, Palace Dumplings, another one of my favorite places to go. They have the best dumplings, I think, in the Hudson Valley. You have Mexican food. You got a lot of beautiful scenery in Wappinger's Falls, too, because Wappinger's Creek runs right through the middle of town and flows into the Hudson River. And there's some actual, there's some gorgeous scenes, you know, if you like to, if you enjoy nature and just want to get out and relax and have a great time just watching the sunset in the evening because the sun sets over in this direction. So if you're over here by the New Hamburg train station, which is really close to downtown Wappinger's Falls, you can uh, watch the sunset over, over here because the rest of America is on the other side of the Hudson River and the sun sets over there and it's really pretty. The other thing I like about um, Wappinger's Falls is the New Hamburg train station. You can live in Wappinger's Falls and drive over to the New Hamburg train station and park your car more easily than you could in Beacon. There's not as many people using it as um, um, a hub for commuting to the city. So it's kind of a nice place to go um, and park your car. The other, I also love Adams Fair Acre. It's one of my favorite rest, uh, grocery stores in the area. It's more similar to like a Trader Joe's and um, Whole Foods combined. So it's a, it's a really great place and they have gifts and they have plants and they have um, great meats and deli and baked goods and cheeses and you know seafood. So Adams is actually the place where I recommend going if you're gonna be living in Wappinger's Falls. Um, okay, so looking again at properties in Wappingers Falls, the home prices, let me see, let me open it up. The home prices in Wappingers Falls vary um, from like $129,000, and this is for the past three months, up to $250,000, and you can, it just depends on what has been done to the interior, if it's been updated a lot, what the community the townhome community uh, normally sells their properties for, you know, what the comps are for the homes. Like you can see on uh, Ketchum Town Road, this one for $138,000, two bedroom, one bathroom, built in 1962. Um, this one is $132,000, one bedroom, one bath, built in 1964. So, you know, the comps are just a little bit um, similar. But it could be that the interior of this one on Wildwood was nicer than the interior of this one on Ketchum Town Road. Um, you can see also this Alpine Drive. A lot of properties come up for sale on Alpine Drive, and that's the Montclair uh, condo community, which has a lot, a lot, a lot of condos in it. Um, and those come on the market pretty regularly, and they have two bedrooms, three bedrooms, one bedroom. It just depends on what you're looking for. So. So anyway, so if you're thinking of buying a home, a townhome or condo in Wappinger's Falls, I'd be happy to help you. I'm a real estate agent in the area, and I have sold a condo in this actual uh, community, Montclair, so I'm really familiar with it. And I, I sell, um, I work with buyers and sellers, so if you're buying or selling, you know, feel, feel, feel free to call me. And also like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. So if you would subscribe to my channel, I'm posting updates about real estate regularly and I'd love to stay in touch. All right. And also, if you have any questions or you want to reach out, I have a contact form in the description of the video 
and feel feel free to fill out the condo for the, the the form and let me know what you're looking for and how I can contact you the best. Um, and you know, it's a no obligation contact, just reach out. I'd love to help you and give you any information I can about buying or selling in the beautiful uh, area of Rogers Falls. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.